Daily Telegraph, Josh, sick note, crackdown to boost workforce. Well, yeah, the government basically wants more people to work because they want more people to earn money and pay taxes. Yeah. And there's a real issue of uh, people being signed off by their GPs. Those numbers have gone up um, oh. from uh, to 2.3 million from 1.95 million over the last uh, two years. A lot of that is mental health as well. Yep. And so now they're just, this is one of the things that they're looking at, uh, the government, is to basically tell doctors to sign off fewer patients. But I don't, it sort of moves into a slightly dodgy territory mm. there. I, I don't know if that's going to work, if they've just picked out that particular one proposal because it's sort of headline worthy as opposed to some of the other stuff which seems a little bit more sensible later yeah. in the article. Well, they've got to be carrot and stick, haven't they? I think mm. it is possible. It's not entirely beyond the realms of possibility that there's a certain amount of malingering that people discover they quite enjoy being uh, off work, you know, on furlough mm. or whatever and have, have drifted towards that. And the reality is, of course, most of us in our 50s, I mean, we're all like uh, on the, in the gig economy. Nobody gets to sign us off. But there are certainly days when you wake up and you think, <laughs> um, is it really worth it? You know, uh, or, or is it about time to start thinking about powering down? But they've got to they've got to create incentives as well as uh, haven't they? I think to, to, for for people to well, get this back. Well, one of the things that they're talking about here is a one year tax exemption for any uh, elderly people going back to work. Yeah, that's a good idea. I think. I mean, I've been saying this for a little while now, kind of like half joking, but I think there is something in it that there could be an intermediary stage between when you're expected to work and you're not entitled to a pension and when you're obviously too old to work and you're going to get a pension. There could be a stage where there are, you know, fiscal and financial incentives, mm -hmm. your taxable income, you know, your tax rates are adjusted and so on, just to encourage you to keep going. I don't know. Yeah, it's a good idea, Simon. I think the, work, the interesting thing that the Telegraph story really doesn't touch on is what is known as a great resignation, yeah. where a significant swathe of the population have taken early retirement. Mm -hmm. As a result, that has, that has created a gaping hole in the economy, particularly those people who are still active and fit enough to be able to work in their 50s, yet have a wealth of skills yeah. that they're not going to be able to pass on to the next generation. Absolutely. And we see that a lot in the world these days. Mm. There's a lot of people who may as well be octopuses for all the uh, parental engagement we get.